Hi, my name is Val Radu and I'm a product manager on Play Game Services. My team's focus is on enabling seamless continuity across the entire Google Play gaming ecosystem. For today's talk, I'm joined by my colleague, Andrew Juliet. You've already heard in the keynote about the amazing new Google Play games on PC. To recap, here are some of the great features it includes. Seamless game continuity from mobile to PC to ensure all progress and purchases are available. An approachable Windows desktop client with rich clusters for game discovery. And simple and easy distribution through the Google Play console. And you've already learned that the seamless continuity of experience is powered by the new and improved Play Game services. For this session, we'll do a deep dive into what PGS is and how we can use it to power continuity for your users. To start off, let's settle on what seamless continuity is, which is the property of a game that allows users to switch between devices while providing a frictionless restoration of the game state to the new device. And we spoke just now that many users want to switch between their phones and PCs and how continuity is a key expectation. However, we should already be thinking about the many users that are already switching between multiple devices, like phones, tablets, or Chromebooks, over the course of the same day. And we need to remember that everyone changes to a new phone from time to time. With so many opportunities for users to change devices, and with billions of users on Google Play, there will be many millions who will need to restore their game states on another device every single day. And that journey of restoring state is critical to users. Our internal research shows that if it doesn't work for a game, users are likely to churn out completely out of that game. To sum it up, in the current world where users switch between devices, supporting multiple device types and seamless continuity between them is a must. But how can you, as a developer, make sure that your game offers seamless continuity? The key prerequisite for that is an authentication system that has a high success rate to sign in users, which in turn means low friction, is robust and easy to integrate, and is interoperable with any identity system. However, such an authentication system is very difficult to build and integrate across. Securing an authentication system is highly specialized and expensive. And then, username and password systems are difficult for users to manage since they are so very easy to forget. This also makes setting up a new device an especially risky moment for users. At the same time, it's very difficult to time the right moment when to trigger authentication. Too early and or too much friction, and the user may churn. Too late, and you may have missed the window to provide a seamless continuity experience. Finally, Interoperability with different identity systems on different platforms is complex. All of these reasons make it more likely for users to have suboptimal experience of continuity. In the best case, this results in high load on your support services, and in the worst case, it results in lost users. However, for games published to Google Play, we have a solution for these problems in Play Game Services. With PGS, you get an authentication system that has the security of Google behind it, very low friction for users with only a short configuration needed before being able to sign into a supported game with a zero touch experience. The same user identity available everywhere where your Google Play game is available, that is on phone, tablet, Chromebooks, and PC, allowing you to restore the user's progress no matter how often they switch between devices. And finally, modularity, so you can use it with any other identity system you may be using. And with the recent launch of PGSV2, things are even better. Now, users are automatically signed in to the game startup, so you can rely on having an identity for the user from the first interaction. The integration is very simple, and it doesn't need any complicated error handling. And finally, there are no external dependencies. The login flow doesn't require extra downloads or installs, and account creation and login will work out of the box. I want to also give you an idea of the reach of PGS. A majority of Android users already have a PGS profile. 
All these users are users that can sign into your PGS enabled game immediately. All of these benefits of PGS V2 have led to strong adoption. It is already used in some very big titles like Asphalt Mine Legends, State of Survival, and Cookie Run Overlay. Just one last point before we move on to the technical details. PGS can also bring other benefits to your game beyond enabling seamless content. For example, after launching PGS support in the game Wealthy VHR Merchant, Blanco's own network Korea has seen a 24% improvement in early game retention. This is just one example, and we know every game is different. So we're looking forward to hearing from you what other benefits PGS brings to you and your users. With that, I'll hand it over to Andrew, who will speak about the actual implementation of PGS in your game. Thanks, Vlad. My name is Andrew Giuliano, and I'm a developer advocate for Android, focusing on helping developers be successful with play technologies. Now, as we mentioned before, PGS is easy to integrate, has a frictionless login experience for the user, and can be leveraged within your own identity system so that your users can seamlessly bring their game progress across surfaces. Let's focus on that first point. In the past, implementing PGS required a lot of code on the client to sign the user in, allow them to manage your account, and handle signouts. Now we've heard your feedback and we wanted to make this a better experience. With PGS v2, sign in is automatically triggered without needing extra code. And retrieving the player's info only takes a few lines of code. What used to take tens of hundreds of lines of code is now reduced to just several lines in your client. Let's take a look at the three steps to integrate PGS within your game. First, you'll need to go into the Play Console, which you use today to distribute your games, among many other features. There's a dedicated Play Game Services section within the console, which will walk you through the steps needed to configure your PGS project so that your client code can call our APIs. Next, you'll need to pull in the Play SDK in your game client. In this example, we are using Java and Gradle. However, we also have native and Unity SDKs to simplify your developer experience with other setups. As you see here, You'll pull in the PGS SDK, specify your game's PGS project ID and the Android manifest, and finally instantiate the SDK in your application class. Finally, on startup in your client code, you can see if the user successfully logged into your game, and if so, what their player ID is. The first block of code here shows the call to ensure the user is logged in with your game. If the user chose to decline, we offer an API to re-trigger the sign-in prompt so that you can have a button in your game menu to log in in case your user changes their mind. Otherwise, if the user is logged in, you can use a call in the second block to retrieve their player ID, which you can use to identify player cross services. And that's it. You now have the flow all set up for a user to sign in with your game, and you can retrieve the player ID. As you'll see later on, you don't need to worry about handling account management within your game, since the user's PGS account is managed in the OS settings. Some next steps that you can take advantage of now that PGS is in your game are integrating PGS Friendless, Achievements, and Leaderboards. We also offer REST APIs so that you can verify your PGS login attempts server-side with Play Servers. Now, we won't cover these in our talk, but we do recommend reading more at our developer site. Next, let's talk about the frictionless user login experience with PGS and how this will get more users logged into your game. Previously, logging with PGS required the user to choose their account. We also used to require external dependencies, which would make creating a profile or signing in take longer. Again, we heard your feedback here and we wanted to make a better experience. Now, with PGS v2, most existing users will automatically be logged into PGS v2 enabled games without having to interact with a prompt. This means once users opt in, they will be signed into your game without needing to do anything, whether it is their first time entering your game or your hundredth. What's better? Users will have the same experience across surfaces, and as we discuss more later on, you can use the user's player ID to automatically restore their progress across surfaces before they even enter the game. Now, onboarding new users is an easy experience. In the matter of a couple of prompts and no external dependencies, users can create a new PGS ID. After this step, they will automatically be logged into PGS games, as we showed on that last slide. On mobile, PGS account management is now in the OS settings. With this change, your client code does not need to handle this flow anymore, and users have a single place to manage their PGS accounts across different games. 
Let's now talk about how PGS can help your game even if you have an existing identity system. You may be asking, why should I use PGS if I already have an identity system? And the answer is simple. With the frictionless experience users have when logging in with PGS across surfaces, you will get more users logged into your game. You can then use the PGS player ID as an identifier you can link within your own systems so that when the player enters your game on another surface, they can be logged in without needing to enter a username or password and they can pick up their progress even faster. On top of this, you can expect that devices with play will have a Google account signed into their device. Using PGS is a seamless way for a user to log in across all our games on their device with a single account. Then when that user uses the same Google account to log in on other Android surfaces, such as Chromebook, Play Games, and Android tablets, they will automatically port their ID as well. We've generally found that there are two approaches you can take when linking the player ID with your existing identity system. The first is to create a strong binding between PGS and your system so that a user can always expect that their progress is attached to a single PGS account. In other words, this is a one-to-one -one relationship between PGS and your identity system. Another is to use a recall strategy where you can use PGS to recall one or more accounts the player may have used when playing your game. This works best for games where users tend to use multiple accounts at the same time. So for example, if I log into three different accounts with your identity system while logged into the same PGS account, if I log into that same PGS account on another platform, your game could present the three different profile options for me to move forward with. As such, this is a one-to-many relationship between PGS and your identity system. To recap, PGS is now easier for the developer to integrate and a better experience for the user. With PGS, users can now more easily log into your game across play surfaces. And whether you have an existing identity system or not, PGS can help you create a seamless experience for your users to restore and play your game. So integrate PGS today to get more users signed into your game across multiple devices and to offer them seamless continuity no matter how they switch between them. Thank you so much for joining us today.